All right, choose the graph of the natural log of x. And again, if, if you just make a table on this one, uh, whether you know the properties of natural logs. And, and by the way, a natural log, yeah, if we look at this, well, I guess the table will kind of help us explain this. But if I said, let x be 0, right? So, yeah, you go to your calculator, you say, nat oh, let me go on with this. natural log of 0. Uh, it shouldn't come up with anything, right? We, we've seen that before. It's domain error. So I actually don't want to use 0. Uh, but I should want to use maybe x is 1. That should be a good one. So I say, uh, let's go back to the calculator. Natural log instead of 0, 1, and that should be 0 right there, okay? Uh, which is a very uh, common ordered pair with any logarithm. We should see it go through this point. Now, there's only two graphs that show this point. 1, 0, right here like this. Um, you see how this one, it kind of misses the mark there, so that's no good. And this one's way off, kind of. So that one's no good. So I'm looking at these two top graphs. So I just got to figure out one other value, and it should tell us um, which of the two graphs it is. So I would say let's choose x is 2, all right? So I, get, I put in my calculator, natural log of 2, enter, and I get uh, 0. Point, we'll say 7 on that. So 2 is 0. 0.7, which would be, uh, well, we know it's positive at least, so it's right there. 0. 0.7 on this one would be here. It missed the mark, so it must be this top left graph right there. Now, could you use more points to confirm it? You could, uh, but since this one's multiple choice, that's all we really need to see.